I'm gonna do here is a sensor, a Windsor sensor XPX, XP12, pardon me. Um, again, pretty straightforward uh, with the bag. You pull this out and pull it down and your bag fits in to the front part of the lid. Now in this particular case, these two uh, pins right here on the side are what frees the bag up from pulling it out. It's not, it's not totally full, so I'll reuse it again. It's pretty straightforward. Slides back into place. and clicks in. Now your bag is locked into place. Put it back with your bottom in first. Put it into position, closing the bucket. And then pushing down the knob and locking it all into place. While you're at it, you're checking the bottom to make sure that there's nothing tied up or obscured on the roller. Next thing you want to do is want to make sure the cord is good, wrapped up right. I mean, they don't put those things on the vacuum cleaner unless you want to. Uh, that's what they're there for. So. The next step I want to talk about here is the handheld hose piece. There are some of you that like to put the handheld hose piece back in this way. That is the incorrect way to put that in place. You might not think it is, but see this hose? It's now free. When you pull this off, it has an extended hose that will stick out. When you put this back in place and lock it into place properly over that little hook there, it releases that and the hose will slide back into place and roll all up and work properly. If you leave the hose laying out and it sits down like this, Chances are heavy objects are going to get stuck in there and you will start to clog up your vacuum cleaner. Again, make sure the cord is wound up and put back properly every time. That way it prevents cord damage and just an all around mess of a cord going forward.